I measured the circumference of the 4 inch sewer pipe and I cut a string that fit it. And halfway I put a mark and then each quarter. You start here and you start the words. The words are stamped all the way down on one, only on one part of the whole pipe. So I start with the two ends and I put it over the middle. Then I go down to my first mark, mark it. Go around to the second mark here, mark it, and then all the way over to the other side and mark it. And that gets me my 25, uh, my four different marks on the pipe. I do it at the top and the bottom, and then I take a, my level is a straight edge, and just draw a line. There you go. All four lines drawn. Next, I marked a cross line, which will be the drill point every four inches all the way down the pipe. I've got a three quarter inch bit here of this style, and I turn it clockwise at first. I put it on the mark, hold this pipe between my legs here, and I go in until it grabs, and see how it goes down. Then I turn around backwards counterclockwise and I drill slowly. I do this, wall it out, and that makes a clean cut going backwards. And the little tab piece that's cut out goes into the tube as well. So it's a win win all the way around. I'll do one more. Until it grabs, and turn it backwards. Like that. Here's a filled strawberry tube. I've got a net cup in the end with a cap. The cap is not glued on. I got the holes drilled here and I will show how I do that. On the end here I've got a piece of the foam board with another hole for another net cup. And that is going to go up into that neck cup from the top up there. So for the most part it's done. I've got to put the plants in and you can see that every other one has holes all the way down except for this one. And that's because I'm using it as an example for you. These others that don't have holes they'll have them later but right now I've got to get the strawberry plants planted. Get the valve open. I've got it running into five of the ten buckets. All the way down. As it runs in here, it'll drip through the entire platform, accumulate in the bottom return back to the drain and the nutrient tank. These are my bare root strawberry plants and this is how it came in a plastic bag. The plastic bag was in a box. And this is what they look like. I'm going to start putting them in the strawberry towers. I made this tool to insert this uh, my strawberry plants into the towers and all this is is just a, an old filter removal tool and I filed it down on the edge there and I made a little gap in the end and this is because I've seen videos where they just take the uh, strawberry plant put it in the notch there and just shove it into the media and it seems to be working pretty good. Now we'll take them through the tool like that and let's see here we'll go down with him inserted in here. And then I take, and I just basically shove it in. Let me grab the back here, like so. 
and there's a little bit of a gap here and then I just backfill that with a little bit of soil and you can see the crown sticking out. Sometime later I'm going to take and make another one just like these and as these shoot out runners when I'm ready I'm just going to route the runners over and pin them into the holes on this pipe here that way I'll have a whole pipe of runners for either another season or another grow or what have you and just kind of alternate and that's my plan. So far.